away from toxic people. I have an eight-week teaching back there entitled Crazy Folks. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Eight weeks, 400 minutes on crazy people. If you're having trouble setting boundaries, you better get that teaching. Stay away from toxic people. Life's too short. You have to be graced to deal with toxicity. If you're not graced to deal with these individuals, stay away. Now, he will grace you to deal with some. That's why we're believers. But you're not graced to, for everybody. Jesus, if Jesus couldn't win everybody, you're not. Jeremiah 18.1. We're talking about a new connection. We're talking about how to create a new season, a new consciousness, a new awareness a new cleanness, a new consecration, new connections, hanging around the right people, hanging around people who make what you're pregnant with leap. Mary Elizabeth encounters so that what's, what you're pregnant with jumps for joy when you're around these people. As it relates to the functional aspect of my ministry, I can't be around people who de-energize me. I can minister to them. But nine to five, when it's time to get the task done, I want to be around people who energize me. Jeremiah 18.1, I love this. We're talking about new connections, y'all. It says, the word, of the, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying... I like this because the word Jeremiah means elevate. Watch this, y'all. Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Verse 3, Jeremiah 18, 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. Verse 4. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again into another vessel, and it seemed good to the potter to make. But I want to focus on verse 2. It says, Arise and go down to the potter's house and I will cause you to hear my voice. In other words, get in an environment of productivity and you'll hear me more clearly. Don't hang around people who complain all day long. Talk about politics all day long. Talk about the economy. All. You want to go to the potter's house where things are being built. And this verse says, and then you'll hear my voice. Amen. We're talking about new connections. Get around people who are building something. Building their marriage. Building their children into responsible adults. Building something from an entrepreneurial pursuit. Building something for the kingdom. And then you'll hear his voice. Some people, they don't want to serve, but they want to hear his voice. No, he says, get in an environment of productivity. Go down to the potter's house.